I don't know if I will ever figure out some good lighting for this video. Two hours later. So what's up guys? Anyway, welcome to another video in the Tomo land. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just want to say at the start of the video, if you do enjoy the content, please throw a like down and also don't forget to hit subscribe. Really do appreciate it. We're going to try and gun for monetization on this channel as soon as possible. So any type of support would be greatly appreciated. This YouTube channel right here is also my main streaming platform. So if you want to come check me out, play some games, hanging out, ask some questions, Please again press the subscribe button down below. I would really, really appreciate it. But getting into things, speaking of monetization, I know a lot of you guys have thought about monetizing your Discord channel. And of course you have, is why else would you have clicked into this video? And today I'm going to show you basically how you could attempt to make money through your Discord. Now, there is a couple of ways that we could do this. I'm going to be talking about one way, which will be through Tebex. If you don't know what Tebex is, kind of think of it kind of like Patreon, except it has a bit more functionality when it comes to different things like Discord and let's say Minecraft servers or GTA or P5M servers or whatever, Rust servers. This is basically how we manage all the types of monetization inside of our gang games. If you don't know about them, check the link down below and join the gang Discord. You get to see all of our game servers, get to join the community and go hang out and play games with some gamers but today we're going to be talking specifically just about tebex and how you can use tebex to monetize your discord server i'm going to set up a test discord and i'm going to basically show you everything that we can do regarding it let's jump into it right now and take a look so the first thing you're going to want to do is have a discord server so go ahead make yourself a discord server throw whatever you want in there and we just kind of go from there. Next thing before we start adding the Tebex or anything like that, we want to make sure that we have specific rooms that these certain roles can use. And of course the role. So let's go over. I'm going to use the fully sync discord now because it's really only used for testing purposes with myself and Ravage for our YouTube videos on the fully synced channel. If you don't know what that is, check the link down below and get subscribed. So first thing we're going to do is going to right click over the server settings and roles. And I can see here that we do have a supporters role. So if you don't have one of those already, just create a role like you would any other role and create it easy peasy. You're not going to go through that right now. I'm sure you guys already have established Discord servers and everything like that. So we don't need to go into too much detail about that. Something you might want to do as well is add a different category for people to be able to, you know, have a base, basically like a specific channel only for those people. So you can right click here on the side and let's say we can even go into create a category. And we can call it supporter rooms and we can make them rooms private and the only people who should be able to see that is the supporters going through here then so we can just have like a supporter chat and we can also just have a supporter uh, voice channel now there's no need to actually make those private either because we set up the category to be private automatically any room that you make inside that category is going to have those exact same permissions so everyone no one can view it but supporters can view it and you maybe you just want to make sure that they can send messages too. So here then is a way that you could be able to set something like this up. So then if anyone was given that role, they will be able to type inside this. You can also set up extra things. So let's say if you want to have like maybe a place for them just to post their live notifications for everyone else to view it, for example. So let's say if we go into the live notice here, press edit, go into your permissions so everyone can view the channel, but no one can send messages to it. And let's say you want your supporters to be able to shout out, let's say there. Let's say you have a really big Discord and there's a lot of people sharing their live stream notifications and such like that. And if you think that's a way that you'd like to be able to monetize your channel, basically letting your community pay for advertising, this would be a great way to go about it. So here, these people can obviously view the channel. But you can allow them to send messages also. You can set this up with any type of room like this. So let's say if you want to only let supporters advertise certain things in certain rooms this would really be the great greatest way to go about it so now that we have a, the basics set up now let's jump over to tebex and take a look and see how we can get this set up it's actually quite easy now so once you create your basic tebex account you know you'll be able to create web stores as you can see i have quite a few web stores here already basically for our different types of games that we run i'm going to create a new web store here and we're not even going to say, so it's not a game. We're just going to specifically choose Discord. Now, so we can call this, I don't know, the fully synced. And what currency would you like to receive your money in? US dollar is pretty universal. Let's choose that. 
So here now we can say, so install the official Tebex Discord bot on your Discord server, no problem at all. We'll go over here, we'll click this button, make sure you sign into Discord, and we're gonna add it to the fully synced Discord server. So basically you add this bot to whichever Discord server that you want it to be able to control. Do all the bleep loops, everything like that. Everything's fully authorized, absolutely perfect. We can close that tab, and then we'll need to copy and paste your secret into it. Now, obviously I won't be showing you what this is, you'll have to generate one of those yourself basically what you want to do is you want to go back basically you want to go back into your discord server let's say you have like an admin room for your different commands and stuff like that and you just copy and paste that in and then you should receive a message no nope, because first things first we need to make sure that the tab X is a admin so i'm going to add it to some of my bot roles here i'm sure you guys already know how to set something like this up so it shouldn't be that big of a thing so now that it's in the bots we go into the commands, we're going to paste that in. There we go. Tebex, Tomo IRL, you've successfully linked this server to fully synced. Absolutely perfect. So now give your bot, yeah, so here it is basically here. So give your bot permission to assign roles so we can make sure that they can do that. So what's actually saying to do is make sure just basically assign the Tebex role to the top. I've absolutely no problem about that. So let's just do that. Even though the hidden bots is there and it's a part of it, just, you know, we'll just do it anyway, just for what they say. It's also a good idea too, because there's a thing about Tebex that it won't automatically update if you make any changes or if you create the roles after adding Tebex. This is basically why we, added, we made those roles first. But if you ever do, just a basic, simple command and we can just paste that in to update everything. So here you can upload your logo, you can create packages, add team members. Some of these things will be a part of the paid Tebex service. So if you wanna add team members to be able to manage everything and stuff like that with you, you would need to pay the Tebex monthly subscription, everything like that. We're not gonna to worry too much about it. We're going quite basic. If you feel that it's something that you need and you're making enough money through Tebex where you can basically think that you can write that off completely up to you we're not going to talk about it too much we're going to go through some of the basics here anyway i'm sure you guys understand how to upload a picture and everything like that so here you can do some different templates and stuff like that i won't lie a lot of the customization stuff in tabex is behind the paywall so it's really up to yourself i like to use basically tabex for the free stuff now you can pretty much do all of this stuff with patreon too but you know with patreon there's a lot of issues and Tabex does technically take more of a cut, but at the same time, I just like how easy it is and how user friendly it is. And you know, there's no weird situation with the Patreon bot working with Discord and everything like that. Tabex I find is just a lot more optimized for this type of stuff. I'm gonna jump actually straight into create a package here. And so what you can do is you can basically set up payments to be either a one-time payment or you can do a monthly subscription payment really really handy so we're going to create a new one we're not going to worry about the categories or anything like that we're just going to go in create a package and from here i don't know we'll just call it a tier one supporter right all right so here you can see i just basically created something just pretty basic in general and you just kind of want to outline in your description basically what your supporters are going to be getting so here i've basically just written thank you for supporting our discord enjoy some of these perks so you get access to a private text and voice chat with other supporters get the ability to advertise your streams or uploads and then so discount codes on your merch store so for example as an administrator i could create another room in here and just call them discounts right so we can make this the same but we can actually just change one thing so in here so we can say that they can view it but they can't send messages in it and me as an admin or anything like that i could just go use code poggers or 10 percent off until such a day etc okay so we can basically do something like that and this way then so only our supporters will get access to that code now obviously if they start sharing that code around and stuff like that that's why i'd only recommend to just basically run each code for a limited time only but yeah it's completely easy for you to set up really again the sky's the limit it's all up to your creativity but we need to make tebex be able to talk with discord okay so we're going to say, for example, it's going to be a recurring subscription. Uh, they're going to get charged once a month and we're going to add a discord action. So when the package is purchased, assign role to customer on a server and we're going to say they're going to get the supporter role. But this is no need because you also want to make sure that if they stop paying for the subscription, or if they cancel it or if they refund it or anything like that, 
we're going to remove the roll away from them. So we're going to add another one. And we're going to say when the package is removed, remove the roll. And we're going to say supporter. We're going to create another one again. I'm going to say when it's refunded, remove it, supporter. And then there's one more as well when the package is charge packed. And then you can even actually create a second roll. So you can create multiple roles to be. So let's say if they renew. So for here, for example, you have when a subscription and renews, you can assign a role and then you can basically have another role saying that, you know, renew squad or something like that. You know what I mean? Just just kind of make them feel appreciated for what they do. We're not really going to worry about it right now. What we will do, though, is that when a package is purchased, we're going to send a message to the server and we're going to we're going to obviously want to do this in like one of our private little chats. So we're going to say the commands room, I think would be the best one. We can basically go from here. So we can say that basically a user did this or a user did this. Basically, Discord ID has purchased package ID or package name. And then we can even get some further information. So we can get the transaction ID. We can get what server. Let's say you have multiple Discord servers. And you can set this up as well to say, you know, if someone canceled it and everything like that. So we can actually go ahead and just do that. It's going to copy that just because we don't need to keep doing it so we can say when a purchase is removed it can take a few minutes to set up but it is entirely worth it so that way you can really see all of the information that's going down and there's not much more now yeah it takes a little while to set up but what's great about tabex is once you create one of these ones you can actually just copy them and just up the price change the name so you never have to fulfill all this different stuff again you can even do actually pay what you want as well, which is also absolutely great. We can set up limits. So you can say that there can only be so many people who are subscribed to this. You can have user limits too. You can say that you need to have such a package to be able to buy this package is basically what the restriction is. So let's say you need to have tier one if you want to order tier two, something like that. You can change the visibility. So let's say if you're still creating stuff and you're not ready for all this to go live yet, you don't want anyone to find it. This way you can just have it disabled. You can change if you want people to allow basically to be able to gift this to other people, create different variables and stuff like that. To be honest, I've never really looked into it, so I'm not really going to talk about it that much. And you can also add it to a community goal too, which is also quite cool. So it is great. It will tell you if something's gone wrong, it will tell you basically exactly what has gone wrong. See this example now, for example, we can just delete this straight away. Now, as I was saying about this, um, the way that we can clone stuff. So basically we can clone this here and we can say this isn't a pay what you want. You have to pay, I don't know, $5.99. You're going to get like a different role. So we can change this then to like a tier two. That's pretty much all the changes that we have to make. See, so this is basically all you can do. It's basically kind of the exact same way as Patreon. The All this stuff, you know, it's going to automatically fill. Obviously, if you want to change the role that these people get, you can, of course, do that. Just make sure once you create the new role, you do the Tabex call and refresh. Now we're going to try to rush through the rest of this setup now. So add a team member. We're going to skip it. View your web store or whatever. Set up a custom domain. So if you own a domain or anything like that, you'll be able to forward it over. Though I will let you know, I do believe this is a part of the pro version. So you, you will need to pay for this monthly. So again, it's entirely up to you. If you know anything about DNS, I'm sure you know that you'd be able to just to create a CNAME record and be able to just point something over to it. Again, that's only if it's something that you know much about, but we're not gonna worry about it that much now. We're just gonna skip it. We're also gonna skip the follow us on Twitter. Now, if you'd like to set up some custom things here, so you can go onto your web store, you can go into your appearance, so you can set up a different theme. Now, again, there's only free themes here. I wish there was like a dark mode for free, but there's not, sadly, but you know, it's completely fine. So here, so we can say we can add stuff to sidebars so we can basically add loads of different things. We're not going to worry about that much now. We're just going to head straight over to it. So basically here it is. This is what every default Tabex store looks like. We can customize all of this. We can create more pages with different things. Again, we can change all this stuff too. But yeah, it's completely not bad at all. One thing I will tell you about is you will want to go into your wallet and you will also want to go in and set up your wallet, choose what type of payment methods that you'd like to be able to accept. So if you want to be able to accept, I would always just recommend you credit debit cards and PayPal and turn off the rest. I wish there was one big button to turn them all off, but there is not. You do just need to manually go through. And again, you'll need to go into your wallet 
and make sure that you set up all of your banking details, set up your PayPal account, link your PayPal account to it so you can get paid, everything like that. Again, I'm not going to go into that. It's pretty self-explanatory if you've ever added your PayPal to anything before. One thing I will just show you how to do as well. So you can go into the web store and in the pages tab is where you can basically customize everything. So let's say you want to change what your homepage looks like. This is exactly where you can go and you just type whatever you want. Poggers. You can add tables, you can add images, everything like that. Once you press update, it's pretty instant. If I just refresh this now, this is just going to say poggers. Customize it a bit with HTML. I'm not sure about CSS, but again, you can customize all that in the appearance tab. If you want to create any custom pages, tell people about you, what you do, what everything is about. You can do everything here. You can private and hide pages. We're going to go into the tier one supporter. First things first though, I do just want to make sure I do not have the supporter role. No, I don't. You can right there so we're going to go and view this and we're going to subscribe so here we can actually see and this is what your customers will see if you uploaded a picture it will show up here it says press subscribe i'm going to log in with discord so right here is where the tabex bot and your profile is going to make the connection i'm going to press authorize so you can enter in the custom amount so the minimum is uh, 99 cents usd so that's exactly what we're going to do here and here we go so we're going to get charged a total of 122 because it's going to add the tax up first if anyone in your community has any gift cards or coupons, you can generate those and create those for your community. You can add them here and you can do special giveaways with those to help people get this stuff discounted. I'm going to proceed to the checkout here now. And obviously I'm going to blur through some of this. I'm going to have a lot of this pixelated so you guys don't get to see any of this for obvious reasons. It's now absolutely perfect. Your subscription has been set up. Thank you for your payment of 122 your next payment of 122 will be taken out on the first of the 11th you automatically receive your products within five to ten minutes if you have any questions please contact fully sync and provide the reference boom so here then as an admin i can basically take this code and i can go okay yeah this is where it is everything like that absolutely perfect so here's my discord id i'm going to obviously blur it out for obvious reasons even though it's not very hard to be able to find it to be honest has purchased tier one sub supporter and so now if i click on my name i have the supporter role and if i wasn't basically a moderator of this i would be able to type into these here but that's really it there's not much more to it to be honest it's really that easy to be able to monetize your discord server now obviously it's up to your own creativity what would make it valuable for people to be able to do this what makes it different than Patreon, everything like that. The reason why I really prefer this over Patreon, for example, so instead of posting directly to your Patreon, to your supporters, you can get all of your fans and supporters inside your Discord and give them access to secret rooms. It's a lot easier, it's a lot easier to maintain. You won't forget about your Patreon, especially if let's say you're a small creator, or maybe between, I don't know, five to 20 Patreon supporters. Sometimes you can forget to, you know, show them love and support on Patreon. This way, it's just rightly available from your Discord. They can communicate with you a lot easier. It's honestly worth the slightly extra fees that you are charged. If you liked the video, please do not forget to press subscribe and like the video down below. I would really appreciate it. If you'd like to stay up to date, my Discord link is also down below. And also follow me on Twitter too. I'm thinking about maybe doing some giveaways again for y'all. Thank you again all so much anyway. I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace and love, y'all.